Good evening, everyone. Let's come back again. An action packed day. So selling very strong selling across all the sectors. However, it's a very you know, trending market, though it was on the short side, but a very nice and trending market for the sellers. And as an intraday trader and a scalper, you know, we need this kind of market to make good money. So uh, there are a couple of reasons that why, you know, there are, why the selling has increased today. Uh, on the one side, we have the, you know, economic numbers coming out. So we have this inflation data here, you know, which came out, which is more than expected. So which means that inflation has increased. Uh, on the other side, we have you no know, uh, Fed meeting, which is going to be held today. So that will also gonna you know impact the markets. And uh, you now we also have the coronavirus numbers, which are again you no know, rising, uh, although uh, they are limited to some of these states. However, they are increasing rapidly in China and other countries. That could be one reason that why, you know, in anticipation of the same kind of, you know, lockdowns and, you know, uh, economic slowdowns, maybe uh, we have seen the, you know, the, the uh, across sectors selling today. So these were some of the reasons. Uh, however, technically, if we, you know, talk about it, uh, we have seen the prices which were continuously rising and, you know, they rose from support to this resistance. Uh, if you remember from my past video, I have mentioned that the prices are, you know, moving within this range, this bigger range, uh, which is between 16,800 to 15,600. So prices have continuously rising and they hit the resistance line here. And so we saw, you know, uh, selling today near the resistance area, and which is quite obvious. And because as a trader, if someone has bought here, right, uh, some we will definitely come out of the position as in when prices will reach near to the resistance area. So that's quite obvious. And especially when we know that you know the economic numbers are not pretty much in the favor of the country. We have the coronavirus numbers, you know, which are increasing. We have a war going on. So all this makes it a pretty logical to, you know, uh, go short at the moment. And which is what we have seen today. Now, uh, for tomorrow, I think uh, Nifty might retest the support zone here, uh, where it has already, you know, uh, created it. And uh, if I just have to see... This is around 16,400. The upper band is 16,400 and the lower band is around 16,300. So uh, I think Nifty might retest it, uh, you know, might dip down, create a bottoming tail kind of pattern and then again try to, you know, uh, move back up. This could be one scenario uh, because, you know, uh, we have seen a good momentum in Nifty from the base, from the bottom. And I think uh, this just one day of selling doesn't define, you know, a lot. Uh, it doesn't mean that now we will see a kind of heavy selling. Uh, just one bar cannot uh, you know, uh, indicates that. So we might see uh, that prices either consolidate at a lower level or they might open at the lower level, uh, create some base here and then again shoots back up. Uh, it could be happen, you know, in a day or in two days. So we will see that. Uh, let's just move on to the bank nifty chart. Okay. Uh, so in bank nifty, almost similar kind of a pattern. Uh, we have a rally from base to resistance. And let's just change uh, the color of this resistance line first so that it will not create any kind of confusion.
Okay, so uh, selling, uh, technically speaking, uh, selling because we are already in a resistance and it has also near the, to this declining 20 MA. So all that makes it a pretty uh, you know, favorable location to go short. And this is what we have seen here. Uh, intraday, very nice pattern. If you can see, it has made a you know, M-top kind of a pattern, a very you know, interesting and very uh, most favored kind of pattern for intraday traders and scalpers. And it has given even a bigger, you know, kind, a steep kind of fall uh, as compared to Nifty. So, you know, if you are trading Bank Nifty, it has given you a pretty decent move, a pretty smooth uh, kind of a move to trade. And this is, you know, what basically a trader, you know, looks for uh, that you get, you know, uh, to capture good points without much of a trouble. And, you know, it gives you good uh, stop points and you can trail it, you know, very well. So this is the market, which is you know, good for the, the short traders and for intraday traders specifically. So uh, what about tomorrow? So we have, you know, uh, in the hourly time frame, we can see that this is that uh, resistance zone, which we have created, if you remember from the past video, and it has pretty much you know, turned from the same zone, from the same location. So, uh, you know, yesterday it has you know, created a rally from you know, this minor support here. So Bank Nifty has, let me just clean this up and let me just zoom it out a little bit. Yes. So, uh, you know, from this uh, minor support area, it has, you know, rallied to the, the resistance zone. And from where it has you know, turned back down uh, from today. Uh, to the downside, I think it has you know pretty uh, good room uh, void as you often talk about it. So it has a void to the downside. Uh, we might see some reaction around these levels, but in case if selling starts, uh, which in my opinion uh, doesn't look like the case. Why? Because you know we have seen a good momentum here now because we were already in a downtrend and the averages are declining. So when prices have reached to the resistance area, this kind of selling is quite obvious. And we have already discussed, uh, you know, the economic numbers and the other important factors which are playing out uh, worldwide, you know, which, which makes it a, you know, a very uh, decent location to go short. Uh, however, I think after this rally, however, uh, uh, with that, that does not, it does not mean that this rally means that now we are in a uh, uptrend. No, because we have you know, the major resistance somewhere here. And as you know, that the uptrend means that by definition, it has to have at least two uh, you know, higher highs, uh, higher highs and higher lows, which this market hasn't created yet. So we are not in an uptrend. So it just that we have seen a good momentum from base, which is a bullish sign. Uh, possibility is that it might come back down, retrace back 50% or even more, and then again shoots back up. So, uh, you know, uh, although we are, this market is still in downtrend and it has pretty decent room to the, to the downside. Uh, however, if let's say that it creates, let me just clean this up. So let's just say that it will just instead of falling down much, it just create uh, some kind of a base here and then moves back up. That would be a pretty you know good sign that it will go up uh, you know with a good void above. And if it does so, that would also mean that it has created a kind of first uh, higher low here. Uh, however, to go in an uptrend or to form an uptrend, it has to you know, move above, it has to breach uh, the resistance overhead. So uh, that's about it in this analysis. Hope you have, you know, uh, got the message here. If you have any questions, as always, ask in the, in the comment box below. Till then, take care. See you in the next session. Good night.